Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is the Sagittarian Goddess. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to this reading. Let the messages in this reading uplift, inspire, and bring peace, clarity, and tranquility to Sagittarius. And let it provide protection so that they connect, under, connect with, understand, and be met with their highest good. So in this reading, you guys, I already shuffled the cards. And in this deck, I'm going to do your overall, get your overall energy, what you can do with it. I'm going to get your love message along with the message from the person that is on your mind. And also, I'm going to pull from my personal what's happening deck. These two decks are my personal decks, you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. So you have the Seven of Pentacles. That is your overall energy, the Seven of Pentacles. What you can do with it is the chariot. Wow. What you can do with it, Sagittarius. You have a love message here, Sagittarius, and this is just going to just get your overall energy as far as your connections goes. This can be friendships, romance, whatever. So Sagittarius, you have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And so in this deck, this is going to be the from the person that is currently on your mind. So they want you to know. I'm sorry for the things I've said. So you cannot be in contact with this person at the moment. And what is happening? Daydreaming. You have daydreaming, Sagittarius. So I'm going to clarify uh, these cards for y'all. This is it's looking, it's looking pretty good, Sagittarius, especially with the cherry and the stay optimistic card here. But I'm going to clarify these for you. With this seven of pentacles, I see you could be thinking a lot. Maybe you feel like you made a mistake or someone made a mistake as far as you. With this seven of, seven of pentacles. Tell me more about the seven of pentacles for Sagittarius. Yeah, someone made a mistake when it when it came to you. You feel like someone made a mistake when it came to you, Sagittarius. I see why you have this cherry card because this is what you can do with this energy. I see a lot of you, you could be feeling down or you could have felt down. I see you picking yourself back up. Something wasn't fair. You feel like something wasn't fair. Something wasn't uh, an equal give and take. And this caused you some emotions. You know, you felt some emotions here with the chariot, Sagittarius. But I see you pushing through very strongly with this chariot. I'm getting you could have just had to wipe your own tears or pick yourself up and just keep it moving. It's not like you haven't done this before, Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? You you haven't it's not like you haven't done this before. You've done this already. So it's like, okay, I already know what to do. I, I've been through this before. So, you know, I just got to do what I did last time and I'm going to be all right with this cherry energy. Wow, what a beautiful, beautiful energy you have. Tell me more about this chariot or Sagittarius. Yes, you have the six of cups. So Sagittarius, you're definitely like moving forward you could be starting something new starting a new beginning you're pushing through it's like you're over this situation you don't have time to like dwell on it you don't have time like you you not you understand what it is you're accepting it for what it is okay it is what it is okay i have to keep it moving and keep it pushing and you could could just be keeping on keeping on i just feel you know, you have a keeping on, keeping on vibe. Like, whatever comes my way, I just got to keep on keeping on. Like, like the world, my world's not going to stop. My world's not going to stop if uh, if something comes up. If something, if someone isn't fair towards me, I'm going to keep moving. Like, what am I going to stop for is what I'm, what I'm here. What am I going to stop doing, you know, what I'm doing for? Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles situation. 
because you're coming out of this with this chariot card and the six of cups so beautifully you could be uh surrounded by children tell me more about the the three of pentacles and the seven of pentacles yeah five of cups like you got your heart broke or you have to break someone else's heart <laughs> but i'm getting is you sagittarius this is your energy this is your energy you got your heart broke you was in this five of cups energy and you did not like this you didn't like this at all this reminded you of the past of the things that you've been through over and over again but through it all even though you fell down even though even though you was down even though i, I feel like you shed a few tears you possibly could have shed a few tears Maybe you did shed tears, but your heart was still broke. And you have to just pick, pick yourself back up because although it didn't feel good, you knew what you had to do. You knew what you had to do to move forward with this five of cups from this three of pentacles. Like, you were so devastated, Sagittarius. But the way that you're coming out with this chariot card, whoever this was, they're devastated. I'm getting some type of misunderstanding or some type of, uh, even though from your end things weren't fair, there was some type of misunderstanding. Yeah, these swords, definitely lack of communication, some type of misunderstanding uh, with the seven of swords. Wow, yeah, like something, something wasn't what you thought it was. Um something wasn't what you thought it was like you could have thought that this was the the six of cups whatever this was a sagittarius it really hurt your feelings like you was in your feelings like you turned your back on it because you, you didn't you couldn't stand to look at it anymore it was just like something was was clear to see and although it was clear to see for you for you there was still some type of misunderstanding Tell me more about this misunderstanding, this five of cups and this seven of swords. Definitely a heartbreak here for you, uh, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this five of cups and six, seven of swords, for Sagittarius. Three of cups, yes. Uh, there was uh, someone else involved in this situation. It was uh, more than two people involved in this situation. Someone could have said something to someone to make that person um, turn their back on you or or break your heart or say something to hurt you. Um, and the person that they got the information from was in this three of pentacles energy. So whatever information that they got wasn't accurate. And so you didn't get your cup from this person you ended up in the five of cups and this person could have went in a different direction but this definitely has something to do with some outside influences this could have been uh someone that you were connected to romantically that had other options or uh their friends or associates or they could have just something was said here something was said and whatever was said it puts you in the five of cups because whatever actions that that were taking place after this Sagittarius broke your heart. Whatever actions that was taken because of this information or miscommunication, it ultimately broke your heart. But I see you moving forward in this chariot energy. You're coming up out of this energy. Tell me more about this seven of swords, though. What was said? What was this communication about regarding Sagittarius? The four ones, a happy home. Yeah, someone um, <laughs> someone could have had another home or someone could have been concerned that they wouldn't be able to be happy with you. I'm feeling someone could have said that, that with you, Sagittarius, with these ones, with this fire, that um, it will be impossible for for them to be happy with you Sagittarius so I'm getting this is why you could have felt heartbroken Sagittarius but you're moving forward with the chariot so beautifully Sagittarius you should be so so proud of yourself so so what happened what happened 
before this chariot for Sagittarius? What happened before this chariot and the six of cups for Sagittarius? The emperor. Yeah, you could have been connected to an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Because I see you're the chariot connected to this emperor. And you wanted to offer like your support. I'm getting to someone, to this emperor, but this emperor, but this emperor that you were connected to, and it doesn't have to be the sign. It could just have, it could just be a person with the choice of the sign. For instance, this is Aries energy. So the person that you were connected to could have been very confident in themselves. They could have been driven, ambitious. They could have been uh, materialistic, or they could have just been all about their finances, making money or whatever you know doing things on their own terms and you with this chariot card although uh this is cancer energy so you with this ch a chariot card you were really this ch this chariot like although you were emotional you know you were emotional maybe moody but you was very strong you were very independent so you had to really uh see whether or not you wanted to invest your emotions into into this and i'm getting you you couldn't because you ended up in this five of cups tell me more about the cherry and the six of cups with the emperor for sagittarius got the eight of wands yeah something is moving very quickly with someone so after after this ended, Sagittarius, it looks like you could be connecting with someone who is who is eager to share cups with you. This could be a a uh, similar person from the person in the past, but the difference is they want to actually share the cups with you. They they want a new beginning with you very quickly. Coming in with the Eight of Wands. Tell me more about this Emperor. What is this Emperor's intentions towards Sagittarius? the ten of swords yeah this emperor from the past from this situation you feel like they stabbed you in the bag they broke your heart like they literally you could have literally felt like they put a sword through through your heart Sagittarius and little did they know though little did they know is because you're in this cherry energy you've had this happen to you before like they could be wondering, like, why, especially with this, I'm sorry for the things that I said, but I feel like it was things that weren't said, you know, especially with the seven of swords here, or something was said, you know, that you don't know about, you know, this person could have been saying things that you don't know that they said, but this is what they want you to say, because they want you to stay optimistic. You know, regardless, you know, your angels, um, spirit wants you to stay optimistic. You just need to stay optimistic, regardless of what's been said with these swords. Tell me more about this eight of wands for Sagittarius. The hermit. Yeah, you've been through this before. It's like you're looking at this, you're looking at this heartbreak. It's like, yeah, you have a heartbreak or whatever, but you're looking at it like, man, you're not looking at it like, uh, this hurts, uh, so bad that I can't go on. It's like, you're looking at this like, like, damn, this, this hurts so bad, but you know, I got shit I need to do. <laughs> it's like, I got things I need to do. You know what I'm saying? You're in this chariot energy and the person, whoever this was or whoever these people, this group of, pe of people were, they didn't know because of you know how how your demeanor your persona they didn't know that you were really in this cherry energy they didn't know that you were experienced you know i could be talking to you know maybe 30 and up in this video age 30 and up but any age you know if you resonate with it you know you could be mature in, in spirit you know what i'm saying so but i'm getting that a lot of you are mature and even though you could have came off as if you didn't know a lot you know, you were very wise with this chariot. 
and coming out with this this emperor here i'm getting you could have dealt with someone who couldn't see past their own own mess is what i'm getting but someone else could be coming in in this emperor in the emperor energy you know that wants to share cups you know that wants to come towards you or whatever and at the same time you're looking at don't you know don't come towards me with no crap with this hermit energy you know i don't i i've been experiencing this you know i've been stabbed in my back 10 times or more and so you cannot you you cannot bring me anything you cannot bring me just anything because someone is sorry for for something that they said or i'm getting something that they didn't say or some something something that was said but i'm going to find out for you right now i'm sorry for the things that i've said tell me more about this love message we stay optimistic. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So I'm getting you could be uh, feeling some type of negative energy, Sagittarius. Let's let's go ahead and nip that in the bud right now, Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and, and tell that negativity to, to move around because you know how you get when you get negative and that's no place for you to be, Sagittarius. Stay optimistic about your love life. Don't let one bad apple ruin this show is what I'm getting because I'm getting uh, Sagittarius, even though this emperor is showing up as you move forward, Sagittarius. This emperor could remind you of this of whoever or whoever these people were in the when you were in this five of cups. But the difference is, Sagittarius, this person actually wants a new beginning with you and they want to share cups. They want to explore with you and go off with you, Sagittarius, very quickly. Sagittarius, but I feel like you have a wall up here with the hermit and the ten of swords. You're wise. And you're being very cautious. And that's why this is saying, saying to stay optimistic about your love life, Sagittarius, regardless of what it looks like. You're very strong. Like, you know, if you've been stabbed in your back 10 times, you, you could be stabbed again and survive, Sagittarius, with this five of cups. You've been through it over and over again. It always comes out in your readings that you've been backstabbed a lot. And I hate that for y'all because y'all can have like the biggest hearts, you know, the, the best intentions towards people and people will stab you in your back. But stay optimistic optimistic about your love life stay optimistic Sagittarius you are love positive thinking and faith will bring you romance Sagittarius tell me more about this I'm sorry for the things that I said look at that look at that the five of ones they fighting and everything so I'm getting it's it was a group of people there there was a group of people Sagittarius um that influenced this heartbreak right here with the three of cups and the seven of swords they influenced this because whoever this was they did see something with you sagittarius but they were influenced by what others other people were saying or or it, they could have been influenced by anything by a video by a text about a meme about a thought about anything but it was a conflict within themselves or on the outside where things were being said about the connection that they had with you and so you ended up in this five of cups three of pentacles situation it wasn't fair sagittarius there was a conflict and you know Sagittarius sometimes rejection is protection because look at all this I I don't even I'm I don't even like being around a lot of mess so like as a Sagittarius I don't like drama I don't like all of that tell me more about this five of ones because I feel like there could have been a lot of things being said about you with this five of ones ones is fire so this was definitely you were the topic of discussion uh Sagittarius Tell me more about this this five of wands. What was being said? What was being said when it comes to Sagittarius? Look at that. Another eight of wands. Look at you. <laughs> like you were the topic of discussion. You were some somebody was saying something about you. It may not even been true um it may not even have been true it may not even have made any sense but whatever whatever information that this person was that you were connected to in the past that broke your heart sagittarius it was because they were in their head about you um your intentions or who you were it was like all about you with all this fire here tell me more about this eight of wands 
for Sagittarius. What was this person conflicted about? What was this person conflicted about? The Knight of Swords. They were indecisive. They couldn't make up their mind with this Knight of Swords. They didn't know whether or not to communicate with you or say something to you or not. This is just a lot of, I just feel a lot of commotion like going on within this person. This person could not be, could not be, um, they could not be thinking, thinking clearly when it comes to situations in general right now. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords. Definitely some dealing with communication. Wasn't quick, quick, wasn't, wasn't sure. Some, some type of com conflict. The Ace of Swords. I'm getting that this person had already made up their, their mind about you. And this person could have been leading you, leading you on with the Ace of Swords. This person could cut you off, Sagittarius, with this Ace of Swords. And I, I feel like this is why you could have been in the Five of Cups energy. Tell me more about daydreaming for Sagittarius. Tell me more about daydreaming. You could have been daydreaming about this person. This person could be... In conflict with themselves, thinking about you now after the fact, daydreaming. Tell me more about daydreaming. The King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? Who is this King of Swords? Got a lot of swords coming in. Who is this King of Swords? The Knight of Pentacles. This King of Swords is someone that you know. There's someone. It's someone that loves money. They love. They're a giver, but they also love money. They're all about their stability. They're all about their coin. You could be daydreaming about this person, or this person could be daydreaming about you. I'm getting this person is daydreaming about you. This isn't you. This isn't your energy coming out on daydreaming. So, this King of Swords could be at work daydreaming about you this king of swords could be sitting on the couch or somewhere thinking about you could be driving uh thinking about you doing something in the physical thinking about you they're not just laying in bed or something they're doing something thinking about you like you're popping up in their mind daydreaming wow let me get some more messages uh for daydreaming Tell me more about this King of Swords daydreaming with the Knight of Pentacles. What are they in, their intentions towards Sagittarius? What are their intentions towards Sagittarius? The Eight of Pentacles. They could be daydreaming about... They could be daydreaming about uh, working something out with you or coming towards you to to work work on something together what is it that this person wants to work on with Sagittarius with this knight of pentacles what are they talking about working on what are they talking about working on this five of wands. Oh my goodness. They're talking about working on this, this situation here. This person is sorry about something. For sure. They're sorry about this conflict. They're sorry about this uh, miscommunication. They're sorry about this confliction that they had within themselves about you. They're sorry about that. They may want to offer you this Ace of Swords. 
I'm getting they had their, their mind made up about you before this. They have their mind made up about you, but something caused them confliction. Now they want to sit you down with this five of swords. This is the this is bef this is the tarot, and this is after tarot. So this is right after this. So yeah, like they want to sit down with you and, and have a heart to heart. They want to have a heart to heart with you. Tell me more about daydreaming for Sag. They want to have a heart to heart with you. They're daydreaming about coming towards you to have a heart to heart with you about fixing something, about working on something. But I'm getting overall, they just want forgiveness because this person is sorry. Promotion. Yeah, this person is definitely at work. They're at work thinking about this. They could be thinking about uh, changing jobs or they could could have gotten a new job offer or a new job idea to try. But you're coming up and they're like, they're thinking, OK, this good thing is happening to me because this person is moving up. This person is making money This with this uh, Knight of Pentacles. Uh, with this Knight of Pentacles, though, this person is making money, but this person uh, wants more with this promotion this person is is really focused on on building something tell me more about this promotion and daydreaming and this knight of swords i'll cover all the calls see this person is is focused on making money with this promotion under daydreaming they feel like they're getting good karma but they're sorry about something that they're sorry about something that, that went wrong with you because you ended up in this five of cups. And now, and now that this person is getting good luck, I'm getting that this person, even though this person, you feel like this person did you wrong, this person is is getting good luck in their career, in their job, or they're they're trying to focus on, you know, saving money or or something with money, something with work, a promotion. Um now they feel like okay. Something isn't right. I have to go fix this with Sagittarius. Tell me more about how I cover all the cards. This person wants to uh, do something with you or for you in September. I'm getting you may not be in contact with this person. September could be a significant month. Or they could have a a plan for september or something to i don't know come towards you but september is a very significant month for you maybe you had something tragic or something special happen uh in september <clears throat> in the month of september tell me more tell me more about this person january January could be very important. The month of January or winter, fall and winter. I'm getting someone is maybe saving for the fall and winter. This could be you. You could be saving for the fall and winter. You have plans to go somewhere, bills to pay. Yeah. Whoever this is, their money focus, their stability focus. And you are too. This is some of your energy too with the chariot. Yeah, this person is really, really focused. Maybe this person felt like... um, Maybe this person just feels like the only thing that really matters the most to them is, is like their money, their finances. Maybe this is what they want to talk to you about. This person... Or this person wants to uh, sit down, have a sit down with you and talk to you about how important their finances is maybe this this person had a hard upbringing or something this is what i'm getting you guys sagittarius thank you so much for tuning in to your reading i will see you all in the next reading